You're listening to the radio program, Christ Alone, with Darren Dolacek, pastor at the First Christian Church in Mount Air, Iowa. Today's scripture is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Friends, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. One of the most common questions we ask each other and ask ourselves is the question of what God's will is for our lives. Most of the time we ask that question and what we mean is we want to know a specific direction on a specific problem. Many times, however, a direct answer on those issues is just hidden from us. As Deuteronomy 29.29 says, The secret things belong to the Lord. But that does not mean that there aren't things that are revealed to us for us to be doing. The book of 1 Thessalonians has two passages like this, including our passage from this morning. The other passage is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, which says that the will of God for every believer is their sanctification or their growth in godliness. So when we ask what God's will is, we can be confident of at least two answers from the book of 1 Thessalonians. God's will for us is our sanctification and our thankfulness in every circumstance. However, it is important to see that the thankfulness that we are to have in every circumstance is a thankfulness that is in Christ Jesus. When we speak as Christians of God's desire that we have thankfulness in every circumstance, it does not mean that we should turn into some kind of reality-denying, emotion-suppressing robots. The reality is that Christians will suffer and struggle through all of the same difficulties that the rest of humanity deals with. None of the trials of this life get avoided, and those trials don't get any less pain-producing. But we ask if that's the reality, then how are we to give thanks in every circumstance? That ability comes from knowing that in Christ, the Christian knows that this life is not all there is. For the unbeliever, every good gift that is given to them, every good experience, will only add to their judgment for not giving thanks to God for the gifts. But for the believer in Jesus, every sorrow and difficulty they face will add to their ultimate joy in heaven. This is what Paul means in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, when he says that these afflictions are adding to the weight of glory we will know on that day. How well you know this and how deep this truth is settled in your heart will determine your thankfulness. What is the truth that must be known? The hope of being found in Christ. This means an acknowledgement of your sinfulness and a continued trust in the work of Christ on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. Being found in Christ is the knowledge that the justice you deserved as a sinner has been wiped away and the light of God's love is now upon you. Knowing this, you can be certain that in the final analysis, God will not abandon you or leave you disappointed. Therefore, you can give thanks. Thanks for listening to Christ Alone. If you would like more information on the gospel or like to hear previous episodes, look me up on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Dolacek or find the podcast at christalone.podbean.com. Thanks for listening. And until next time, may the peace of God given by faith in the vicarious life and death of Christ be yours. Amen.